<laughs> Hello, my creative friends. Olga from Smart Dark Materials here. And as you might have noticed, I have some changes happen in my studio. Me and my husband, Alex, have rearranged everything around. So now I'm very excited to present videos in new, better formats. So now you can see everything that's happening with my paints and my pores even better. So in this video, I have Sam June challenge details. And this month we are going to do a paint kiss. And I'm going to give you all the details about technique and colors just in a moment. But I want to make it a little more exciting and a little more rewarding for you. So if you participate in a challenge and share your results, you get a chance to win $25 Amazon gift certificate from me, as well as be mentioned in one of my videos with the corresponding link to your YouTube channel or other social media account that you would like to promote. Well, if you would like to participate, it's very easy to do. I have described all the details step-by-step step in Sam June challenge post on my website, and I'm going to link it in the description as well as just here in the corner. And this is something I'm going to do every month, so make sure to subscribe and turn that notification on so you don't miss any new challenges. All right, guys, so I have all of my colors here ready. I have two cups. And the first condition of this challenge is to use at least two cold colors in one cup and at least two warm colors in the other cup. And we are going to position colors from dark to light. And first color that I'm adding is a Phthalo Blue by Liquitex. And it's actually a heavy body paint, but I managed to mix it to a nice fluid consistency. It took me forever, but I really hope that it's going to work out good. My next color would be by Sergeant. And I already have some paint on my hands, so I better put the gloves on. I totally forgot to do that. And why I use gloves. And you see a lot of artists out there that don't wear gloves during the pouring. Well, the reason is, is that I use floor troll in my mixture. And it's not recommended to, for Floetrol to come into contact with the skin because it can irritate your skin and who knows what are the other reactions it can cause. So I don't want to take a chance, so I'm wearing gloves. And this time I'm going to add some red to my blue cup and I'm also going to add a little bit of blue to my red cup. So I have two blue colors here already and now I'm going to add a touch of red. Just a little touch of it. Next one is a cobalt blue, it's a metallic color, I really like it. Now it's another blue by Sergeant. And I'm finishing it up with the aqua green by Liquitex. Also gonna add some white on top. So now the red cup. This is red bright red by Saks Acrylics and I really like this color. I think it's very beautiful. It's like a deep cherry red. And now I am going to add some fire red by Saks and then I'm adding a touch of blue to this cup and now some orange. Oh yeah, and orange was by uh, Sargent Acrylics and I'm gonna finish it up with a golden yellow by Saks again. I have been using Saks Acrylics a lot lately. I really like the quality. It's very similar to Liquitex Basics, but it's twice or three times as cheap. So again, I'm finishing it up with white. And by the way, guys, if you would like to check out the ratios that I use as well as to order the products that I'm using. I have all the links and all the recipe details in the description of the video, so check it out. All right, I have my cups ready and I'm ready for the pour. Part two, the fun part. And as you can see, this canvas has been used once before, but I didn't like the results. So it's been scraped off and it's completely dry. So it's totally fine to be reused again. And I'm going to start with a white base color, not black at this time. And this is another condition for a challenge. Use the white base and white negative space. 
And the white that I'm using is titanium white, again by Saks Acrylics. And I like to use my spatula to move it around. And I also like to cover the sides from the very beginning because it makes it so much easier to colors flow down the sides. And this is very important if you're working on deep canvas, if you want your edges to be pretty. I do. Alrighty, so ready for some kisses. And as you can see in this cup, the white has sinked a lot because the titanium white is generally very heavy. Plus it's heavier than the blue paint, so it's sinked a little, but that's okay. So because we added some white to our cups, it kind of makes the pour match the background or the negative space. If we didn't add any white, it would be just too bright against the white background. And now it's sort of balanced. I really like the colors in this blue cup, so I'm just going to finish it with just a blue cup. Not wasting any of this pale blue. I think it's good. Oh, looking good. I really like this part right here. Next step. So torch your kiss before you tilt it. So you're gonna get some cells, and as you tilt, obviously you're gonna stretch the cells, and it's going to look good. Well, I hope it will. So let's do it, especially on the blue side. I like cells on this aqua green teal color and maybe touch on the orange side as well. You don't want to torch the whole thing. You want to leave some spots without it. All right, guys, so the last condition for this challenge is to leave some negative space. You can leave at least two corners, not covered. You can leave all four, it's up to you. Obviously you want some paint to flow down the side to stretch those beautiful rings, but leave that negative space. Okay, let's do the tilting. I'm always very excited, yet nervous. Every time, every single pour. I want to start this way. Okay, I hope you can see, but the colors in this one are just amazing. Mamma mia. Oh, I love it. So see, as I stretch those cells, they begin to look really cool. And the center. Really, you can't go wrong with this color combination. It's so bright and vibrant. I think it's perfect for summertime, for a summer spirit. You don't want to over tilt it. Do I like it? Oh, it's so pretty. Do I like it? <laughs> oh, nice. All right, guys. So I really like it. I don't want to tilt it more. Probably not. But I want to do one more uh, touch up. And it's up to you if you want to do that for a challenge or not. It's not mandatory. But this edge where the paint meets the white, where the color meet the, meet, colors meet the right, the right. 
that part where the colors meet the white is very sharp and I want to make it a little more playful. So I want to blow along this edge towards the white, but I don't want to make it too busy. So let's see if I can do that without ruining it. And I'm using a metal straw. And you know why, guys? I know it doesn't make a huge difference, but I find that using metal straws is better than using plastic straws, just for our environment. And I have a whole article about it, how to cut down the waste of acrylic pouring. And this is one of it, you know, why not? Every little change makes a difference in the world, right? If a thousand people stop using plastic straws, our ocean is going to be a little cleaner. Alright guys, I think it's time for me to stop. I don't want to overwork it, it's already so much going on. I absolutely love this part right here, like the way the white and yellow and blue blends into red. Ugh, so awesome. So is this ocean side with those sort of like air bubbles in the, under the water. I love all of the parts and you know what, so much going on. It's definitely very busy painting, but I like it because I like it. It really stands out and jumps out at me. So one last touch up. I need to torch just a touch more. First of all, I want to pop any air bubbles. And if you go over with the torch fast, you don't create a lot of cells. It's mostly just air is coming out from the underneath of the paint. And I want to add a little bit of cells on this side here. So now I go slower and you can see how cells begin to show through the blue. Just a touch of cells on this side as well. I don't want too many because it's already very busy. All right, guys, I think I'm going to stop. I really like this pour, so much going on, such beautiful colors, and I really can't wait to see how it dries. And I would love to hear from you what you think about this new way to paint kiss. And I can't wait to see your paint kisses for this challenge. So check out the details how to participate. And thank you so much for watching. Thank you for all your comments, all the support, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.